Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is day 99 of the 100 day project, which means it is the last day that I'm actually doing a project. Tomorrow is day 100 and I have decided on day 100, I will do a show and tell and then show you everything that I've made over the past couple of months. And if you are new here, hi, my name is Margaret. I am from the Netherlands and I just did the 100 day project. You missed the whole thing. Don't worry, I am making a playlist so you can catch up. Start at day one, that's my recommendation. But for day 99, I want to use my favorite sort of paper and that is vintage paper. I love vintage magazines and newspapers, ledger paper, letters, anything that is like from before 1980, I don't care what it is, if it's the tickets or a postcard, whatever kind, I just love everything. So I want to do a couple of projects today. I have no clue how far we'll get, uh, but you know, let's just get started. As I mentioned, I'm going to be using vintage magazines. I love these ladies magazines. I especially love all the advertisements. I love the advertisements and sometimes it has some fashion in it that I also really like. I have, I'm, I'm going back to this one later. I have a whole bunch of, uh, of those advertisements already, you know, cut out of all the magazines. I just, I adore them. I have some from the 50s, 60s, 70s, but I also have some that are very, very old. These are from... 1917 or 1918 or something like that i mean old old yeah and these are printed on um um copper print copper printed in dutch it's copper deep drug. i just love them these are more like sepia brownish sort of advertisements uh i also have this one that is really really old 1928 this is what i mean with the copper print it's some sort of a brownish uh, color i love to make stuff with this i have no clue what i'm making with this but you know i probably want to look at that i probably want to use it make some sort of a postcard with it or whatever but the real thing that i'm excited about is this magazine let me tell you about it and let me show you. This is from 1968. This is a magazine for, well, men. Because it's about electronic things that I have no clue about. You probably, when you find these sorts of magazines, you'll be like, what am I going to do with this? What's with all these sort of drawings about? <laughs> I, have no, I have no clue. I don't know. And then there are all these sort of numbers. Well, if you know me, you know I'm getting excited now. It has all sorts of numbers and graphs in it. This to me is yummy, yummy. Because the, uh, I want to use these as backgrounds for labels, tickets, post postage stamps, whatever. These to me are the best backgrounds to use. So I want to show you uh, what my passion is with this. <laughs> I want to utilize these sorts of um, images, drawings um, of whatever kind to make ephemera with. Yeah. So hopefully you have some old magazine from your grandfather or your husband or whatever. And you're like, what am I going to do with this? Well, get one out and then we'll start going. Other than this magazine, I want to I want to decorate it, of course. I want to decorate it with my new washi tapes. I have some washi tapes. Look at these. Aren't these gorgeous? They, these are all sort of botanical related. So, yeah, you know, that's what we're doing. I want to use my um, punches. I have a two inch square punch or one inch circle punch. I have this scalloped punch. I have another bigger one and a smaller one. I want to use these. And then my label stamps. So I don't I don't really know what we're making. I'm just gonna know I'm no we're gonna have fun. We're just gonna have some fun. I'm picking out a page in the middle and let me show you what I do. When I have a magazine, I don't just rip it out. I'm very careful with these because you know these are to me 
treasures. In the middle of a magazine, there are either staples or like these, these are uh, strings of some sort. I have this very small, tiny pair of scissors. Don't ask me where I got them. I got them 100 years ago. Uh, and then I snip them open. I don't do this only to magazines, but also books. So now this is loose and then you can carefully take out the pages two by two. See, that works so, so well. Let me get a couple that I really like. There you go. Now let's see. This to me is extremely interesting. Yeah, I just really like it. I have no clue what this means. Let me zoom in a little bit closer. You're probably like, well, this is not my project. Well, it will be. It will be. Um, I am going to randomly decorate it with all sorts of stuff. With my washi stickers. I have some uh, postage stamps that I really like. I'm just going to decorate it. And have a chit chat with you. So it's more of a chit chat sort of a video. I just got these the other day. Day, I already all, uh, unpacked all of them. I have no clue what the brand name was. I am sorry. It is. It was Dutch. I do believe it was Dutch. I'm just ripping some stuff up and then randomly putting stuff down, just here and there. It doesn't make any sense now, but it will. It will. I sell a lot of these sort of magazines, well, every type of vintage magazines in my shop. And I have a big, big collection in my attic. Sometimes I wonder if the ceiling will collapse. <laughs> That's how many I have of them. It's really, it's really, really bad. Yeah. I just cannot leave. Uh, if I go thrifting and I see like... Uh, a book full of magazines and I don't really care what the topic is I just buy them I just buy them so some of these washies now let's do some stamps some random ones Canada and US these are all US what else do I have Queen of England that's nice the King of Norway Norway, does Norway have kings? Well, it looks like. Yeah. Also, Yugoslavia. That's nice. From Belgium. Um, uh, let's do some more. This is from, I don't know, Deutschland. I don't know, Germany. Another queen. And Austria. This Österreich, Austria. Okay, so I'm just I'm going to make some sort of a big collage with this. So it's a collage with me, kind of thing. Is there anything left in here? No, I finished it. I have counted. I have counted all the uh, glues that I have used in this project. I have 15 glue sticks. I've used 15 glue sticks. Well, 16. 16 if you count that one. Yeah. And one bottle of art glitter glue. <laughs> Just doing it here and there. If you don't like uh, these numbered pages, well, pick out any other page that you really sort of enjoy as a background. Maybe you'd like some telephone book pages i also love that telephone book pages or train scheduling paper i love those i use them all the time just some you know interesting backgrounds but not really like don't do it with flowers because it does not need to be a focal point it just needs to be something interesting in the background that is different than what you normally see This stuck down. I do love this one. Yeah. Why are you using it? Because I have a gazillion 
other postage stamps. Like really, I have a lot, a lot, a lot. Am I at all in frame? Sorry. There we go. What was this one? US, right? Yeah. 1968. Oh, the, the, the magazine is also from 1968. That is a nice coincidence. Yeah, there we go. I had so many questions um, here on uh, YouTube and also on my Instagram. Margaret, how did you do this? 100 days and for every day another how idea. How did you manage? I, I cannot tell you. I honestly cannot tell you. I don't know myself. I don't know myself. I'm going to do some stamping. I think I think I will. I also want to do some of this green stuff. If I can find the beginning of this tape. Hello tape. Yeah, I did struggle a bit in the end, I must admit. I was like, what am I going to do today? Normally, I knew the day before or a couple of days before. But the last four or five days, I was like in the morning, what am I going to do? My husband's like, do you know what you're going to do? No. <laughs> it is already two o'clock. You need to start filming now. Do you know what you're going to do? No. Especially today, I was like, I'm just going to play. I'm just going to play with some stuff. I'm not even gonna, no, taking out my favorite things and just start playing. So hopefully uh, this is going to be a nice video. There you go. And then some on the, is that Yugoslavia? Does it have a king? I don't know. Oh, I'm very bad at that. And some on the US. There you go. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. It's not going to be a surprise. Yeah, favorite stamp. If you're new here, this is my favorite stamp. I've used this one 99 times at least. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, what about the color? Let's do something not overpowering. Let's do tea dye. I'm just going to do some tea dye. Yeah. Well, this could be like done, like, and I made a collage. That was my project for today. No, 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 no. No. Because what I want to do now is take my punches. These ones and the big circle one. And I just want to go punch some stuff out. There you go. I want to use. Oh, these paper paper still joined together. Carefully, hon. Carefully. See, I'm ripping them. Don't rip them. Okay. Oopsie. I'm sorry. I'm making music. I'm making music now. I am just going to. Make circles with these. Just some random things. With a maybe king of Yugoslavia on it. There you go. Get my scissors. Oh, no, I love this piece. Let's do a piece of this. Yes. Making room. Yep, let's see. Shall we do some? Ooh, I also love the back. What was on the back? Beautiful stuff. Let's do some squares. Yeah. I love this. This one. Oh, US. I can get the bird on here. I do like the bird. No. 
I'm gonna make some room so I can have the bird on here. It does look really, really amazing. See? Um, let's have some more room over here. How about this one over here? Oh, look at the three, four, five. I just love this. Love it. Shall we do the smaller circle punch? And have a bit of the queen on there. A bit of the washi tape and a number. Yep. Another number. What is still left over here? Oh, look at these numbers. Yep. This to me is just interesting. There you go. Um, I am trying the scalloped ones. I do not know for sure if this will work or not because I am having a lot of trouble with this machine. Yeah, see? Go on there. Yeah. Did that work? Sort of. Not really, not how I want it to work. Do any of you have this machine? And does it work for you? It doesn't want to stay on for some reason. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Can we have one more? Yeah. Okay, let me show you what we made. Here they are. I just, it's interesting. I just like them. It's tiles and circles and scallops, you know, really, really lovely. Uh, normally I make a bunch of these and then I keep them in one of my little boxes. I think I want to use them today right away. Uh, but other than these, I want to make some labels. So I am just going to scooch this over. Over there, we're going to use this. Let's take out another piece of these papers. And I already have my label stamps sort of ready. Yeah. And then I'm going to just randomly stamp some stuff like so and then different sizes I just love to have some numbers on there and a circle one over here still in frame sort of almost <laughs> just about Just some interesting pieces. I'm just going to do a couple. And um, I am going to cut these out. But I'm not going to do this on camera. Because that will be boring. See? Yeah. Look. They look very, very interesting. I am just going to cut these out. And I already cut some um, beforehand, so we're going to have a bunch of these technical labels. Let's call them technical labels. Here I cut some out. Don't tell me you don't like them, because I love them. I just, I just love these. Yeah. And you can decorate them. You know, put another, put a flower on it, or... A piece of washi tape or stamp another number on it I really like them so I want to use these and these what you gonna do with it let me show you because I also want to use my advertisement pieces yep these all of these once I what I want to do is make a big collage. Let me zoom you out a little bit. Yep, there we go. I want to make a big collage with all the advertisements and then decorate them with the beauties that we made. Yeah, I am going to 
um, used a piece of scrapbook paper that I really don't enjoy. Let's just say I don't enjoy it. Um, but problem is I want to cut it down a little more that it be more like an A4 size. Something like this. Yeah, so I need to make it a little bit shorter. I can do that. No worries. And then I am going to collage all over that. Where did I did where did I mark it? Oh here. Yes, you need glasses, love. Yes, I know I need glasses. Okay, so I'm cutting this down. I mean it's not ugly paper, but I I know I I just don't know what to do with it. Okay, so I am just going to take out some of my beautiful advertisements and make a big sort of collage with them look at this yeah just i'm just going to use that i want to have some smaller ones i'm gonna cut these up in smaller little pieces why not what else do we have i have so many look at this isn't that beautiful yeah i don't think i'll use that one <laughs> I cut these up. Cola sport. Oh, this is German. Cola sport. Well, I do like cola. Do not like sport. Look, that's also German. I don't know where I got these from. Oh my, look at this. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Yeah, okay. Okay. I am going to use a normal ruler. I'm not going to cut these because that will take forever. And I think this also looks way better when you just, just tear it and then glue it down. I'm just going to tear all of these up. I'm sorry, these are all Dutch. Well, most of them are Dutch. I have some German in here. And I have, I know of one German viewer, Sylvia. Hello, Sylvia. <laughs> She's from Germany. American Importing Company. Well, that sounds very American. See, I already have loads. And then I want the large one here. The fountain pen. This is German again. Yep, this is alcohol, something alcohol. Good, how far are we? Can we make a collage yet with these? Let's have two of these. Beautiful jewelry. And then this one. Shall we do the very old ones? Yes. I am tearing into 1918 pap uh, papers for you guys. Yes, that's how much I like you. There you go. Don't worry. I have copies. I have scanned these. <laughs> I, I have. I have. I have. Okay, let's see how far we are now. Just want to do some random gluing. Uh, I need a bigger glue stick. Do we have that? Yeah. Luckily, I have a bunch. I'm just going to glue all over these. Hopefully, you're still with me. <laughs> because I have a surprise for you. I want to make a big collage with this. And then scan it. And have it as a freebie. As a gift. For all you guys that were with me for 99 days thank you so 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 much it, it has been such a pleasure and don't cry because i'll be back not not um after 100 day i will take one day off please let me have one day off <laughs> just one day that's upside down lovey 
I will uh, sort of gather my thoughts and um, start with a new plan. I already have plans. I have plans. Yeah, I want to do some sort of series, but then simpler ones. I am thinking about um, a Rolo Dex card ABC. What do you guys think? So, does, does that sound nice? I think that will sound nice. A Rolodex card ABC. Which means um, every week I will do uh, three Rolodex cards, decorate them. And then uh, week one it will be letter A. So I need to find uh, nice stuff with the letter A. Like apples and such. Oh, these papers are so lovely. And I'm using the real ones. I have a friend, Donna, a subscriber. She uh, sent me a message, message that um, she thought it was so nice of me to scan them and not use the real papers. I'm sorry, Donna. I also use the real papers sometimes. Sometimes I do. Can we do it like this? Would you guys mind? I hope you won't. Because it, it fits so nicely. But it will be on its side. Yep. And then have American Importing Company over there. Yes. And this do not know what this is. It's a ladies confection like um, coats and, so and such. There you go. I have this one over here. Look at the beautiful lady. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Five cents a cigar. Oh. I think back then five five cents was a lot of money. Go. Let's have another tall one. Another German one. I'm thinking, where did I get the German ones? I cannot remember. Maybe I found a whole book full of magazines, or it came from um, Ephemera D stash. One of the shops on Instagram that I buy from regularly. If she's open most of the times. She's only open for a couple of times um, a year. I am going to use this one. You're going to be so happy that I used that one. Where's my ruler? Yeah. It says Amsterdam and The Hague. Both of the cities I do not live. <laughs> well, I work in The Hague. And my mom's from Amsterdam. So it's sort of... Uh, shall we do this one over here? Does this fit? Yes, it does. It does. Yep. And then we are done with the big collage. And then we're going to decorate it. missing a piece over here it's gonna be fine good now we're decorating with what well with all the lovelies with all the lovelies i'm just gonna randomly put some stuff on over here another circle here the queen I would just want to do some random bits here and there. On one of these circles. Oh, I'm gluing on parts that I really, really like. And I'm like, shall I, shall I just glue the other side on? <laughs> you 
cannot love you cannot you did all the decorating so also going to use the labels Just randomly gluing them on here and there. Yes. Hopefully, um, I have enough <laughs> because I need a lot more. Also, guys, what I'm going to do is i am going you know you know the drill um uh, i uh, have to do a lot of decorating and this video is already very long so what i'm doing now is i'm just gonna finish decorating with all the bits and bobs and then you'll see the end result it's almost finished but not quite um, I did put all the pieces on and I inked all around it because I like that look but I want a little bit more color on here so I was thinking about doing either stamps or you know more labels and uh, the labels one so I am going to put on some of these colorful labels that I luckily cut out yesterday just here and there to add a little bit more color. I saw a comment, a question yesterday. I think it was on YouTube. I do not know for sure. And somebody asked, where did you get the um, uh, labels from? And for the life of me i cannot find that comment back because i wanted to answer it and then it just you know ma magically disappeared so um if that was you i am sorry i saw the, the the question and i wanted to answer but then i could not find your question anymore but to answer your question the labels i get from old made awesome which is a shop on instagram Old Maid Awesome is her creative account and then her uh, shop is called Oma Verkoopt, which is Dutch. And uh, But just go to her um, creative account and you'll find the link to her shop there. She makes these very regularly in all sorts of colors and all sorts of sizes and they are just yummy yummy lovely. I really like them. I use them a bunch. You do? I do. Yeah, a whole bunch. Some blue here. What else do we have? I want some color and I wanted to have some writing on it. One over there. See, the bit of color really, uh, I think it really helps. Gonna have this a little bit over the page. Yes, no worries, we can do that. Just a couple more. I have this lighter green one. If you are, uh, are watching this video, Sandra, and you're back from um, your vacation, I need more. <laughs> See, I'm using so many of them. I definitely need more. Maybe one more purple one. Purplish one. Yeah. Over here. Is that it? I think that is it. Here's the end result. Let me give you some sort of a close up of the whole bit. Yeah. Oh, I need color. I need color here. That's not the end. No, <laughs> I need more. <laughs> I just found a spot that needed more color. Uh, guys, this is going to be like a freebie. You can, if you want this, 
you can email me email me at my email address it's in the description box box below it's sevenplaza.yt at gmail.com uh, uh why am i asking for email because if you email me i have your email directly so it's very easy for me to you know email it to you then so uh it will not be available tonight the what what date is it over here it's the 29th of may because i really have to scan it i have to upload this but it will be available tomorrow at day 100 yeah <laughs> um ladies thank you so much for hanging out with me today i hope you enjoyed the video i did this is you know me playing with paper i'll be back tomorrow with a video i have no clue how long that one will be either it's going to be very short or very long or well get a cup of tea that's all i'm <laughs> that's all i'm saying and then we'll go through all of it so see you tomorrow bye